close to 90% of patients with celiac disease do not know they have it. This is criminal. We wrote our book, The Gluten Effect, over a decade ago, and the stat was the same then. So why are we not making progress? Uh, yesterday I spoke to a patient. She has a hiatal hernia problem, but she also just recently learned she has celiac disease, and she's not at all educated. I'd like to first start on the diagnosis and and how you get it. So there is a four out of five rule. So one is that you have symptoms associated with that are associated with celiac disease. Now that is a very long list granted. Number two is when you stop eating gluten your symptoms improve and, and that's significant. Now of course when we say stop eating gluten we mean you really stop eating it six to eight weeks minimal and you really see an improvement. Number three is you have a positive blood test. Now to do a celiac panel correctly, you really have to do an entire panel. It's not just looking at a test called TTG. Uh, it's deaminated gluten. It's uh, looking at your total, what's called your secretory IgA. Um, there, there's a number of things to look at and they really have to all be looked at. So number four, on these rules is that you have a positive genetic test. Now a genetic test is very easy to do. It's a swab inside your cheek and it's do you have the genes for celiac disease? Now if you don't have the genes and at this point we have to go with the genes we know, what's number five? Number five is the one that's really been the, the only number one forever which is the biopsy and that's the biopsy of the small intestine to see if the lining, which looks like finger-like projections, um, they call these villi, if they have gotten eroded. Okay, so they, they get flattened. And the surface area of your small intestine, which is about 23 feet long, is the size of an entire tennis court. So if you can imagine going in to do a biopsy and, and with little pincers <laughs> taking tiny little little pieces of your small intestine, what if it's flat here and fine here and, and this is where you happen to take the biopsy, you see? So it, it's not a perfect system. And so there's, there's a, the leading researcher in the world uh, that I respect, Dr. Alessio Fasano, says it's so, so yesterday as far as using that as any kind of gold standard because it's, it's not enough. 